Welcome back to the Armenian Museum. I'm Gary Linsanani, I'm the curator. And today I'd like to talk about uh, one of our major art collections, the works of Anatoly Avedian. Avedian was born in Siberia in 1952, later moved to Armenia, studied in Yerevan, graduated at the Ar Armenian Art Academy in uh, Yerevan in uh, 1977. He studied painting, all kinds of media, but he wanted to create his own style, so he developed a technique of using metal in order to do art. And so these are examples of works by Avedian. Uh, this is actually a self-portrait by him. And what he would do is he would take the metal and uh, use etching, etch parts of it to make the lines. And then he would change the color with acid. He would use sulfuric acid on it. And by timing how long it's on there and wiping it off, he could change the color. So he could use the acid to make different color shades on the metal. We have the largest collection of Avedian art in any institution, 71 pieces by Anatoly Avedian in our collection. Uh, and you usually can see a, a few pieces very high on the wall in the main gallery, but we have many other wonderful pieces that are in uh, vaults. And so what I'm doing is I'm bringing out a few of them today to show you some of these. And the, uh, the pieces used all various subjects, often religious subjects to it, and classical subjects. Uh, looks like almost like a big god the idea of it. And some of the interesting things about the, this work is with some of these pieces, the metal, um, this one does not have it, but some of them actually have serial numbers in the backs of it engraved in the metal. And the numbers in the back were actually military serial numbers from the, because these pieces of brass were originally made for a cannon factory to make the shells of the cannons and some of the metal ended up on the black market. It was had a big economy in the Soviet Union at the time, uh, underground economy. And so these pieces of metal, the metal blanks, would end up on the black market. And then Avedian would buy these pieces of metal and would use them as his medium to create this metal art. But he finally had to give it up because the problem was he, he had a, basically a one-room apartment, which was, and so he's sleeping in the same room and using acids and it's putting these fumes in there. And the man was literally killing himself by doing that. And after he had a wife and children, everybody he knew pressured him to stop this kind of art because he was going to kill his family by doing this. So eventually he stopped and he moved into other things. He tried to create a school of Armenian uh, stained glass windows, but that didn't really, it's not part of the tradition and it really didn't catch on. And he does, of course, paintings and other media as well. He's still active today. He, has a, he owns a coffee shop near uh, off Pagramian, near the American University of Armenia. And you go on the first floor of the coffee shop, and he lives upstairs above the coffee shop. And on the walls of the coffee shop, you will see works by him. Uh, you know, this is, he uses the shop also as his gallery in order to promote his work. Uh, but as I said, we have 71 pieces. So we're very lucky to have this. And these are some catalogs of the materials uh, related to Avedian, showing him here. Uh, that's the gentleman right there, too, self-portrait. And some of the fine pieces that he did. Great art. We're very lucky to have it at the museum. Uh, and uh, we, we do show these on occasion. And uh, well, next time we do a show of Avedian, I hope you join us. And, and because I said, he's, he has some spectacular pieces. The Armenian Museum is here to share our stories, our culture, our history with you, the public. This is the 50th anniversary of the museum, and there's no better time to join the museum. If you want to join the museum, you can go on to the uh, armeniamuseum.org uh, slash membership. And if you go on our website, you'll find out details of all kinds of programs that we're involved in, concerts and uh, exhibits and other things. We, we thank you for joining us today. We hope you'll join us again. And until then, stay safe.